Nice one. Don't burn it, though. Don't burn the spuds. Look, this area you can just paint and relax. You've got a wonderful surrounding. Hi, guys, Lady Lush here, and welcome back to the Chanel. We are back today with another micro speed build. Today, it's a rich boy's home. Before we get started, I'd like to give a shout out to Tropolisis. I hope I'm saying your name right. Thank you so much for all of your comments and support on my channel. I really appreciate it. And your channel is awesome too, my friend. But guys, let's get cracking. Get your tea ready. Get your water ready. And I'm on it, guys. Damn, this is the kitchen. And I was so impressed with how this came out because a lot of my micro homes, the kitchens have been so small and pokey, but I wanted it to be a little bit bigger. bigger. This guy's rich. Let's just say maybe he's a teen, young adult, he's just left the, the nest, but he's got a bit of cash. He doesn't need a massive house because he's a party lad, or maybe not, but he's got money, but he wanted a small home to start out with, and I think we got it, guys. I learned a lot in this build, sizing up objects, moving objects putting things in places that they shouldn't be and I think it ended up coming out really nice I, here's the bathroom I try to put some I try to think here I, I try to think look how small this space is it's ridiculous but it works and it functions and I will show you that later on the colors as well I feel like they're nice and deep they've got that mmm this was made with money in mind. I've got the bed here, put the uh, counters and I sized them down and made it look like it was all part of the unit itself. I'm just putting some clutter on the tables here as well now. And I had a lot of fun and a stressful time at the same time building this. Because of the shape of the house, it was very hard to put things in a place that didn't look out of place. But I think we got there in the end, guys. I mean, here we got the shelves, I'm just cluttering them up. I use these shelves a lot. Um, they were used in the kitchen as well. <laughs> they were used everywhere, but here on the exterior, as I said, I wanted to have that rich look with the dark colors. Um, very minimalistic, but fresh looking, strong looking. And so the house didn't look flat, I added a little rim around the side here, which I will end up filling with flowers. So it just wasn't like a tube of a house. And uh, we've got a garage developing over here to the left. I feel like, I'm like, girl, I'm learning so much the more I build. And when I have a personality in mind, it really helps me to build as well. So having a rich, rich dude live here, I could see it. I was like, yeah, he would like it. Probably a different car, mind you, but hey. Now we're going to start working on the back, which I had a lot of fun with because I didn't know what to do. But then once it started coming together, I was like, yes, I'm feeling the vibe. I mean, the flowers here, guys, it was just, it was just nice. Afterwards, I was like, mmm. And I was using the environment around as well. Here, I tried to make an area you could sit down. So we've put those little ottomans, or whatever you want to call them, in the half walls. And then we raised them up slightly and moved them forward so they're workable. They are not cushions, ladies and gents. They are chairs that I've put as cushions. <laughs> we've made a little pool here. I love it. The shape of it is just so cool. It fits, I think, with the vibe of the home. Let's put a nice little tree here again, just to fill in the little the gaps of wonderfulness, -ness 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 -ness. <laughs> And here we're going to work on this is like the outdoor barbecue kind of area. Um, just I have I wanted it to still have that chic look nothing cluttery or messy we've got an easel out there we've got a guitar and here we're just gonna put some plants and you know just fill it up with wonderful goodness put the clutter anything you need for a little barbecue have it out here that again is a shelf that has been sized up sized up to silly proportions but you're gonna see a lot more of that kind of stuff from me again there's another shelf at the arm of this bench here homemade bench what am I telling you Get the lights in here now so we obviously we need to be able to see what we're doing am I right though guys <laughs> am I and there we have it this is our humble abode 
I think it's time we bring on our tester for today. And who is it, ladies and gents? It's Cole. Yes, it is. He was like, let me in on this one, coach. Let me in. He's like, rich boy, I could do this. Sure, you can. So if you can see here, I actually added a microwave because there wasn't one earlier. Those shelves that have the spices on are actually counters. Them um, half counters, I believe, the war ones, downsized about two or three times. Um, I mean, all of this is very different. The I just had fun with it. I just had fun is all I can say. Experimenting even outside I experimented so hard and I think we got it in the end and now everything works you can watch TV eat a meal um, again those that's um that brown board underneath the TV uh, where was that now it was a it was some kind of board I'm not sure if it was that size originally or if I downsized it and then I put more shelves within the shelf again experimenting but it works his laptop works he could have a friend over they can sit down we have ladders they work perfectly fine now we're going to go upstairs this part was hard this part i wanted to pretty much give up doing the build because i didn't know how i was going to make it work but we got it didn't we guys we got it toilet works shower works better boom and he can sing in the mirror <laughs> it just it, everything functions and that's the main thing with this house wash your hands my friend and it looks wonderful and out here is the bedroom again placing stuff in here was really hard but it the look was what I had in mind I wanted the browns and blacks and I feel like we, we got it guys we got it look at his clutter there you know and on the other side he's got his flowers and his pictures I don't know that could have been a picture of him but he doesn't live here <laughs> but uh, that's what I was thinking though maybe I'll make a home a proper home though for our testers for test tester and for Cole um, if you guys are interested in that let me know in the comments to see where these guys live they're out here testing these homes all the time where do you live but there you go this works you can sit here you can lay down you can read a book as I said when you're making this you have to raise it off the ground by one and then fold it and move it forward slightly using the free move over the edge of the half wall in order for it to work me and my daughter sat here for a good while trying to test that out um, again they are not real cushions they are just chairs that I've downsized and moved around and just shoved them in the back to look like cushions still I wish I knew where I got the idea from but I can I cannot remember man I cannot remember I know I was looking for cushions and there was none but there was this beautiful simmer who came up with this and I'm like hells yeah look this area you can just paint and relax you've got a wonderful surrounding you can just paint all of this wonderfulness around you and it's like hell freaking yeah <laughs> you know I just love it I'm like in love with this place I don't know this one might be my favorite so far it may just be but um, as I said because I'm learning um, the eye for building is getting better and hopefully I will keep on getting better um, because they all tell a story and I really enjoy that hey yo Cole what are you gonna make over there hook me up with some of them jacket potatoes please yeah thanks buddy yeah nice one don't burn it though don't burn the spuds jeez you're not no cook are you I mean you uh, <laughs> I guess they're living good anyway as I said we will see where these guys live I think this is a good idea so if you guys don't decide then I'll decide but if you have an idea where they will live in terms of their environment let me freaking know guys just look around it's so chilled it's so beautiful they said this is for a rich guy he could bring a lady friend they can go dip in the pool drink some wine outside while he serenades her with a song <laughs> i am feeling this like come on it's fantastic um don't stay in there all day because uh, you look like you'll possibly drown 
it's time to start wrapping this up okay Cole so um, we've got the bike outside I end up moving this bike because it doesn't actually work where it is right now um, but if you get this build it will be in the gallery if you just look for lush micro then you should find this <laughs> that's it just lush mi micro I don't know generally lush micro you'll find you'll find some of me stuff there hey hey where are you going hey Cole hey oh all right then see you in a bit my friend I'll I'll finish up here get out of here <laughs> guys I hope you've enjoyed this video I've had a lot of fun building it I can't wait to get more micro homes I think the next one will be a container of some kind using the eco stuff getting really in there it'll be so much fun um, if you like it remember comment down below leave me a thumbs up subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to see my videos when they're out good morning good evening good afternoon and I'll see you soon. Bye.